Hi, Robert Medlin here. Uh, today I want to just just uh, talk about what it takes to please God. You know, I, I just want to I want to please God. I want to I want to do everything right. I want to please Him, and so uh, we have to keep in keep in mind that that that's not what pleases the Lord is what we do. What pleases the Lord is is our faith and trusting in Him and His goodness. And uh, Hebrews is a is a perfect scripture for that. It says that that uh, uh, faith is being sure of what we hope for, being certain of what we don't see. That's what faith is. Faith is not being unsure. <laughs> faith is being sure of what we hope for, being certain of what we don't see. So the Lord requires us to walk by faith. That's what pleases Him. And so if you walk by faith, then you're not going to see what you're looking for. So faith is being sure of what you hope for, being certain of what you do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. This is Hebrews 11. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was framed at God's command so that the things that are seen were not made out of things that are visible. What that means is they came into existence from nothing. It's just like when Jesus multiplied the loaves and the fishes. Uh, he started out with, with five loaves of bread and a couple of fishes and fed 5,000 men and their families. Well, that huge pile of food that fed five five thousand men and their families didn't have to didn't have to go through the normal process. Uh, they didn't have to the the fish didn't have to have baby eggs and then the eggs grew and then they had to be harvested and they had to be cooked. Uh, that didn't have that didn't have to happen. It came when Jesus multiplied those loaves and fishes and fed those those people. He fed them with with fully cooked. <laughs> fully cooked fish and bread so it didn't have to be done it was he he created out of nothing and so god creates things out of nothing by faith we understand by faith we understand that god created the universe out of nothing and we understand that he but he just spoken it into existence you know so he just he just said let there be and then pam the universe came into existence this is talking about jesus jesus is the creator the word of god who created everything he just said, let there be, and boom, it came into existence. And so uh, faith is being sure of what we hope for, certain of what we do not see. It says, this, this is what the ancients were commended for. You want to know what, what the ancient heroes of faith were commended for? By faith, by their faith, they were commended because they, they believed they, they believed that they received things that they couldn't see by faith. And so that's what God, that's what pleases God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God because everybody that comes to him must believe that he exists and that he's rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. Faith is, he's a, we have to believe that he exists and that he's a, a, a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. That's what pleases God. He's a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. Not those who who are, are become religious and and try to fulfill all the requirements that they might think or exist and that God might have in mind. So uh, that's not what pleases God. What pleases God is a trusting, is believing in Him, and that He rewards you. He rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And so uh, sometimes we get off track, you know, in our faith journey. We uh, we try to get, you know, we try to add to what God wants, you know, and and uh, sometimes we'll, you know, we we will we'll be extra careful, you know, things that we don't want to do anything that would get God upset and cause Him not to answer our prayers. <laughs> well, if He was going to get upset, He'd have reason to get upset all the time because we're we all fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by the grace that came through Christ Jesus. God presented him as a sacrifice of atonement through faith in his blood so as to be just and the justifier of those who have faith in Jesus. So so faith in Jesus is what pleases God. And so and without faith it's impossible to please God. So so that's that's God wants us to keep that in mind so we don't get religious and religious by thinking that we deserve things because we've done all the right things we've given we've tithed we've done all this stuff and we deserve the these things that 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 we're asking for that we're expecting that we deserve it because we've done all the right things 
Wrong. <laughs> You're disqualified. You disqualified yourself when you made a statement like that. So what the Lord wants you to do is just trust in his goodness and his promises. He's given us He's given us 3,000 promises in the Bible that cover every area of life. And he wants us to take those promises and believe one of those promises for everything that you need. And use those promises as your basis of faith. Faith comes through those promises. So, uh, without faith it's impossible to please God. So, that, so that's the way we please Him, is trusting in the promises. Lord, you said that you would meet all my needs according to your riches and glory. And I have tremendous financial needs right now, Lord. And, and you said you'd meet them. And I thank you that, you that you will meet them because you said you would. It's a promise. Thank you, Lord. I don't interject in there, well, I did this, well, I did that, well, I did this. You know, I don't interject that stuff in there uh, because that disqualifies you. It's a steady disqualification when you do that. And I know we're all guilty of that. We get disappointed because things don't happen as fast as we think that they should. But, but you got to correct yourself and say, wait a minute. <laughs> the only thing that pleases God is my faith and trusting in him and his promises, trusting in what Jesus did for me because he bought those promises for me all the promises of god are yes in christ and we give the amen to the glory of god amen you find a promise say amen to the glory of god when you find a promise you don't say oh oh uh, uh amen and 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 uh and i'm doing my best i can <laughs> no you get your eyes focused on jesus and say lord you did it you're gonna do it you promised it they can't fail i can't fail because i'm trusting in you who promised all this goodness to me so that's the way it works and if you hear a message that's different from that or you think a message that's different than that or you uh, your mind conceives a message your your buddy says of something to you that makes you think you know so they told you they had great results in prayer when they when they started being more obedient well that's the devil leading them down the path to unbelief to getting out of pleasing God so so God works with us to bring us back to that place of faith only not trusting in ourselves because the devil wants to stand right there and say yeah you he'll do that for you if you do this he'll, he'll do that for you but you've got to do this that's what the devil wants to say so but no devil he'll do that for me because he said he would <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. I love I love God's plan of salvation. I love his plan of 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 saving us by faith, answering our prayers by faith. If we had to add something to it, what would we add, you know? It's got to be the same for every single person, you know? So, so it's got to be the same for children, it's got to be the same for people that just heard the gospel in in some far off country and you know, it's it's got to be the same. And it's all trust in Jesus and believing that Jesus died on the cross for us. Believing that Jesus said something and he promised something and that he would do it. It's just that simple. The Christianity is so simple. And the hard part of Christianity is fighting off all these demonic thoughts that want to get you to thinking that, that, uh, that you, you're, you're, you're receiving something from God because of what you do, you know. You got to get rid of those. And so that's your fight of faith is to get rid of those thoughts. They want to pull you down from your position of faith. You know, we're, we're, we're seated with Jesus in heavenly realms, and, and we're already seated with him, and the devil wants to drag you down, in your mind anyway, so you don't think you are. So, or you think, or to get to thinking you're, you're fulfilling some righteous requirements that, so you would deserve something. Jesus is the only one that fulfilled the righteous requirements, so he get, gives us to things as a free gift. He's the only one that deserved anything because he came and lived his perfect life for us then he submitted himself and took the judgment for us so he paid the price for us and now we can receive everything freely just by faith in jesus just believe in his promises it becomes so simple the gospel is so simple so examine yourself because the devil wants to come along there you know and start start pointing fingers at you and saying yeah but you know last night you did this and and yeah but yeah but you haven't you know, you haven't really given to the poor like you should. You haven't done that, so he's not going to answer that prayer. 
oh, we, we have to keep our, our spiritual eyes and ears open for any false words, thoughts that come in that war against the fact that Jesus, all the promises of God are yes in Christ and we give the amen to the glory of God. And that's how we please God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So, faith is being sure of what we hope for and being certain of what we don't see. That's what faith is. Faith is not trusting in your own ability or your own goodness. Faith is being sure of what we're hoping for. Faith is being, is, is, is being sure of what we don't see. So, so that's, that's what the Lord wants us to, to, uh, to keep that in mind. Because the devil's right there, you know, his his trick with humanity is if you can be good enough, God will do it for you. If you can be good enough, you deserve it. If you can be good enough, <coughs> excuse me, he's got that if you can be, if you can do this. So he says, you don't have to trust in Jesus. You know, you got to do more. <laughs> don't believe a word of it. Well, God bless you guys and have an awesome day. And just get back to your foundation of faith in Jesus and what he said. And because it all depends on what he did and what he said. God bless you.